2.34 to go until halftime. Illinois with the ball down 11. George pressured, and he is brought down. Sebastian Joseph. Our other impact player. This is Rutgers nose tackle Sebastian Joseph. He already has his degree, his undergraduate degree, and now he's in graduate school. He's also pretty good in the trenches. Sebastian, first of all, what did it mean to get that victory at Illinois? Oh, it meant the world to us. Uh, it meant the world to this program, you know, uh, just to be able to go out there and um, uh, be 10 strong and get the W, you know, and bring it, and bring it all the way back to Scataway. You know, it's a great feeling, you know, nothing like it, especially on the road. I, I get the feeling just talking to the guys and being around campus that it changes the whole atmosphere. Do you feel that way? Yeah, it definitely does. You know, I'm uh, winning. It works nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It work, work, works nice. But, but when you're winning, it's always better. It's always better. So, um, yeah. You know, um, it brings such a positive energy, you know, to this program. And, um, uh, and especially with all the hard work we do, you know, as players and, um, uh, you know, I, like I said, I can't explain it. It's just, it's just a great feeling, you know, to be, especially when you're on the road. Nothing's better than winning on the road because it's a really hard thing to do. And uh, once you're able to do that, you know, it, it really shows that your team came together collectively and did something big and great. It's one thing to say you're a guard or a tackle or an end. But to say you're a nose tackle, yeah. that means that you're really in the trenches. Yeah. Do you like that aspect? Yeah, I do. You know, um, <laughs> it's all about toughness, man. And uh, when I line up, when I put my hand down, I know, like, no matter what, I'm not gonna let this guy out tough me. And um, uh, it's it's a great feeling because um, you really can, you're a master of your own fate. You know, um, uh, how hard you play, how hard you play, and how much you put into it is what you get out each and every day. So. You know, thank God for Coach Burnham and Coach Ash for always pushing me each and every day. So um, that's why I think that's why I've been playing so well. So hopefully, you know, it keeps going that way. You make a lot of tackles, but you don't have an opportunity to make as many sacks as the yeah. guys that are on the outside. Yeah. Do you still take satisfaction when you see Kamoko Ture or somebody oh. else getting a sack? Well, I love it. <laughs> I love it. Um, uh, because that means I'm doing my job and I'm taking up too, you know, each and every play. Um, uh, yeah, Komoko and all those guys, they're tremendous players, and uh, I love seeing them making plays for us. You know, when they're making plays, we're winning, so it means it means good things for us. It means we're, we can win, so um, uh, yeah, credit goes out to those guys. So you already have one degree, journalism. Mm -hmm. Does that mean you're coming after me? Oh, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm, kidding, I'm kidding, but yeah, no, um, journalism and media studies, yeah. You know, um, yeah, I do I do want to be like a sports um, anchor, anchor man one day. Wow, that follow, sounds fo good. Following your footsteps. That sounds you know? great. I'd uh, love to have you come into the studio. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So we know about your undergraduate studies, but what's your graduate degree going to be? Um, my graduate degree will be in labor relations. So um, stuff's talking about bonds and unions, um, things that happens in the workplace, you know, stuff like that. Why did you want to go right to grad school and still play football at Rutgers? Education is a great thing, you know. Um, education doesn't come free either. So um, I, I, I was taught as a young kid that um, the more education you have, you know, the better it's, it is for you, you know. Um, uh, and no one could take your education away, you know. Football could end whenever, but this won't end, so yeah. What about coming from Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania to play in New Jersey for Rutgers? Mm -hmm. You could have looked for a Pennsylvania school. Why are you? Um, you know, honestly, I just thought um, the mixture of football and academics together, because I'm, I'm a big academic guy, as you know, um, really just suited me and my family as well. Also, it was, it was a lot closer than a lot of schools from Pennsylvania. And uh, yeah, that's why I chose Rutgers. There was a coaching change here. You could have flown the coop. Yeah. You decided to stay. Yeah. Why and are you happy? Um, because, you know, I really believed in Coach Ash's vision and also, you know, just for all the people here at Rutgers that have done so much for me, you know, um, this is really a family and this is, this is a place I always call home forever and I love this place no matter what and, uh, you know, like I said, I believe in Coach Ash and his vision and what he was bringing here. Are you enjoying it? Oh yeah, of course I'm enjoying it um, uh, and it's, it's been such a great experience and I've learned so much, you know, I've grown so much as a player because of Coach Ash and his staff. Sebastian, it's homecoming weekend. Yeah. You could easily be one of those guys coming back if you hadn't continued at Rutgers, <laughs> but you're still on the football field. Are you excited to share this with, with the alumni? And oh, yeah. is this a special weekend? For sure, you know, it's, it's a special weekend for the alumni, it's a special weekend for Rutgers. Homecoming's always special, man, and uh, I'm really excited to go out and compete with my brothers, and uh, hopefully we can make it a special day for everyone by getting this W.
Good luck to you, my friend. Great talking Thank to you. Thank you. Great talking to you, too, bro. Sebastian Joseph. Hopefully someday he doesn't take my job. <laughs> we'll be back with more on our football with Chris Ash. And the coach rejoins me in just a moment.